Hey guys, I've been very lucky to have a long and very uh, productive and uh, very enlightening career at the Weather Channel. I'm almost to 26 years. I've been out on the road for about 22 years. And this right here is number 20,000. I've done a lot of live shots and this is number 20,000. I'm kind of proud of that because if you'd told me back in 1995 I'd do 20,000 live shots, I would have said, what? No, no way. But uh, here we are and, and a lot of folks ask me, what is your favorite weather to cover? And this is it, a snowstorm or a blizzard because nobody gets, nobody usually gets hurt. There's not evacuations. You don't lose your property. You can have some lighter moments. So it's great to do number 20,000 in the snow in Rochester. But I want to take you back to 1995 with Jim Cantor. This is my very first live shot, albeit in the parking lot at one of the older Weather Channel buildings. Let me show you what he and I look like. Take a look at Jim, October 1995. We're going to go talk to Mike Seidel right now, who is outside the Weather Channel studios, and find out what the weather's like outside right now. Good morning, Michael. Uh, obviously a little windy. Uh, good morning, Jim. Yes, we're getting a pretty good gust here, I'd say 40 to 45 miles an hour. Uh, some of the power off of the distance just went out. And driving around Atlanta this morning, it looks like a war zone. You would not believe uh, the damage, not so much structural, but the fact that trees are down, limbs are down. Some of the roadways, you can't even see the road from all the uh, debris. Power is out, I'd say, in about 70 or 70. <laughs> Well, there you go. That was number one back in 1995. Opal going to Atlanta with Jim. Jim and I are still both at the Weather Channel and proud to be there. And again, it's uh, great to make it to 20,000 live shots on the Weather Channel. Hope I can do at least uh, three, four, five thousand more and uh, hang out with a great bunch of people back in Atlanta. We've got continuing coverage. Hunter continues to affect the uh, East Coast. If you don't get the snow, you're going to get the cold air. It's heading to the eastern seaboard. And then we have more winter next week. All that coming up next after break right here from Rochester on TWC.